Hey everybody, what's going on? It is me, Heroic Rex Studios, and today, after about a month, I am back with another video for you guys. And obviously by the title, you guys can already tell that this is the LEGO X-Men minifigures collection. So, initially I wanted to postpone this video a while until we got more X-Men, but honestly with, uh, with Dark Phoenix coming out, uh, I wanted to kind of release this video around the time the movie came out. I still haven't seen Dark Phoenix for myself yet, but from what I've heard, it's not a very good movie. But uh, I still do intend on going to see it eventually. Um, <laughs> but until then, I do have these seven minifigures here for you. Now, as you can tell, uh, half of these figures are not official LEGO. That is because LEGO did make some X-Men minifigures, but they haven't made any in a few years. So, uh, four of these figures are custom, uh, two of them are official LEGO, and one is a purist custom by me. Uh, so, you know, we can just get right into it. So, starting off, uh, we do have Wolverine down here. Now, this is actually the 2012 Wolverine body with the 2014 head and cowl, because I really like the head and cowl on that figure. Um, and I mostly just prefer the blue and yellow color scheme. But then, uh, moving along right behind uh, Wolverine is Cyclops. Now, that is actually an Eclipse Graphics custom Cyclops, but it's not the pad print in one that he used to have like several years ago. This is kind of like a new re-release, but I've... But according to his website recently, he hasn't made any more of these Cyclopses either. And I bought that one at uh, Brick Fair, Virginia in 2015. It was 2015 or 2016. But I did buy that Cyclops because I thought it was a really cool figure. And I like it more than Legos because Legos is kind of bland. But, uh, you know, it's really nice. It has the nice Jim Lee comic look. And I really like that. And then right behind Cyclops, up here in the back, is Iceman. Now, if you guys remember, all the way back in November, I did my LEGO Fantastic Four minifigures collection. And I had the Human Torch in, like, his fired-up form. Well, uh, the same guy that made that Human Torch figure also made this Iceman. Because I also mentioned in that video how I also had his Iceman. So, I really like that figure. That's honestly probably my favorite one out of the bunch. Uh, just because it's so unique and it's a completely fake Lego. It's not real Lego, <laughs> but it looks close enough, and I really do like it. Iceman's one of my favorite X-Men, so really glad that I have him. And then moving up here to the top left is Storm. Now, we got Storm in the uh, the 2014 X-Men set. It came with the Blackbird, and then Cyclops, Wolverine, Magneto, and a Sentinel, and that was really cool. Uh, I do wish that Lego obviously made Storm's famous, like, headpiece that she wears, but you know what? The figure itself is fine, and I absolutely love it. And Storm is also one of my favorite X-Men, so <laughs> really cool. And uh, I heard she actually got some love in Dark Phoenix, so I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to go see the movie myself. And then, uh, moving down right beneath Storm is Beast. Now, Beast is also an Eclipse Graphics custom and uh, I bought him the same day I bought the Cyclops right here. So Beast is a digital figure, and actually, if I'm not mistaken, you can still go on the Eclipse Graphics website, and you can buy this Beast for yourself. Uh, it's digital printed, and uh, it's a really nice figure, and like Storm and Iceman, Beast is also probably my favorite X-Man, <laughs> so uh, it's really cool. But uh, I absolutely love Beast, and I love Kelsey Grammer as Beast in X-Men 3. <laughs> but then, right below Beast is probably actually my second favorite figure in this entire lineup, and that is Rogue. Now, Rogue is also an Eclipse Graphics custom, but uh, both Beast and Cyclops in this collection are digital printed. The Rogue is actually pad printed, and back in the day, in like 20... 13, 2014, Eclipse Graphics had a whole bunch of Rogues and Cyclops figures that were pad printed. And they were super nice. Uh, a few of my friends actually have the pad printed Cyclops that I don't have, but you know what, the one that I have right here is still pretty good. And I absolutely love the Rogue figure. And, uh, you know, I like the uh, the 3D 
I'm, I'm sure this is like a Cape Madness jacket, so that's really cool. And then the last figure that I have, as you guys can see right here in the middle, is Professor X. And this is an entirely purist custom by me, uh, including the wheelchair. I, I've actually had this wheelchair and this Professor X combo for like four or five years, but he's always just been sitting on my shelf. Uh, because I just liked it so much, and I really wish that I built the wheelchair yellow, not gray, but you know what, I think it works, and I actually have this power Lego Power Miners helmet and the chrome color for the uh, Cerebro helmet that Professor X wears, and if I'm not mistaken, the body that I used is the 2012 Bruce Wayne body from the 2012 Batcave set, and the head is a Gandalf head, because I had a Gandalf figure, and I thought the head looked pretty good for a uh, Professor X, and that's actually really funny because Ian McKellen plays Gandalf and, uh, <laughs> and Magneto, so I don't know, I thought that was cool. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, so uh, I know kind of, a, kind of a weird video to come back to, but you know, with Dark Phoenix out in theaters, I figured I would go ahead and just make the Lego X-Men minifigures collection, and who knows, uh, in a few years down the line, Maybe I'll come back and when LEGO decides to make X-Men sets based off of a new MCU movie, I'd be totally down to either remake this video completely or just do like the minifigure collection for the movie, uh, kind of like how I've been doing for some of the uh, new MCU movies. But uh, you know what? I'm, I think I'm done. So uh, <laughs> uh, I do have uh, a couple more videos planned for this month and then... Next month, I'm going to be diving into a whole bunch of reviews. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of the new Harry Potter sets. Uh, I'm going to be doing some of the Batman sets. And uh, then after that, I do have Brick Fair coming up. I do have a mock planned, but I'm not ready to reveal it yet. But uh, I will soon, so stay tuned for that. So, uh, my guess, with all that out of the way, that's going to do it. So, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Links are down in the description below. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.